organization, you will need some supplies such as baskets in varying sizes and storage containers. Every home has a kitchen, and let's face it, the kitchen is where we spend most of our time. Not only does our kitchen need to be beautiful, but it also needs to be functional. You cannot have great functionality if your kitchen is not organized. Today, we are going to show you how to organize those junk drawers. Every kitchen has at least one junk drawer. Our kitchen happens to have two. So it is important for us to keep those drawers as organized as possible, just to cut down on confusion and make grabbing things that we need quick and simple. Each of our drawers is quite spacious. They both measure 18 and a half inches deep by 13 and a half inches wide. That is just big enough in this first drawer for these little baskets we found at Dollar General. These were two for a dollar and they measure six inches by four and a half inches. We're able to fit six of those in this drawer. And inside of each of those little baskets, we are using some of these small containers we found at Dollar Tree. In the second drawer, we are using a little bit larger of a basket, also found at Dollar General, two for one dollar. These measure six inches by nine inches, and we are able to fit four of those comfortably in our drawer. I do recommend that you line the inside of your drawers with a self-adhesive liner. You can see that our liner is pretty stained up from the movement in the drawer. We do have a rechargeable battery pack as well as extra matches and a lighter to keep those votives lit and shining beautifully. In the first basket is where we keep all of our extra keys. Keys for our shed, our lawn mowers, or anything else that we don't use on a regular basis. Also, you can see there are several extra keychains as well. In this basket right here, we do keep some of our extra bolts and screws, just things that you're going to need around the house from time to time. And in these small containers is where we do put some of these small things that can easily get lost lost inside of a drawer, such as these key rings, those shelf tabs, as well as these washers and tiny screws. Also in this drawer, we do have some extra nuts and bolts, always plenty of these hanging around. And most of you know that my husband is a law enforcement officer, so we do have a little extra ammunition. In the next basket is where we do keep some of our extra cutting supplies, such as these box cutters. And we also do have some extra lighters just in case the electricity ever goes out. And yes, we have a lot because of couponing deals. In this basket right here, we just have some extra odds and ends, and these were easier for us to keep in plastic baggies so that we could write on the baggie exactly which bedroom or which area of the house those supplies belong to. In the next basket, we just have some extra electrical supplies, such as these three-way plug outlets, a Christmas outlet, we do have some earplugs, a few things that go with our mini screwdriver set, and of course, what YouTuber doesn't have extra SD cards? The last basket in this drawer contains a variety of odds and ends, like extra chargers for our car, some of the grease that my husband uses around the house, his wax pen, magnifying glasses, and etc. These are objects that are too big for the mini containers, yet small enough to need a basket. Moving on to drawer number two, we do have a basket that contains our extra tape dispensers and labels. Also, some of my glitter and a ribbon cutter, as I often do my DIY projects in my kitchen on the counter. This drawer also contains a basket that has some of our glue, some of our miniature scissors we use, a hole punch, my X-Acto knife. It also contains some of our Mod Podge, as well as some glass glue. 
and sitting down beside those baskets is just enough space to keep a few rulers. The last basket in this shelf does contain some markers and Sharpies. These Sharpies come in very handy when splitting groceries at the grocery store and needing to mark labels on the packages. And that is everything that we have in our junk drawers in our kitchen and how we keep them organized. Remember, organization is the key to having a little less stress in your life. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.